Yeah, I mean, I don't want to trash it, but it's like every other minute I had to go and fix something on it, you know? And if it's your average person buying it, what they should do is stick it straight in the box and send it back. Playing Trade Guitars is giving away this Gibson Custom Shop Les Paul to one of you. How to enter? Subscribe to Playing Trade Guitars on YouTube and we'll give it away when we hit 50,000 subscribers. Hey, welcome back to Playing Trade Guitars. I'm John, that's Zach behind the camera, and this is Playing Trade Guitars, where of course we play it and trade it. Continuing our look today at the best-selling Les Pauls from Epiphone, this time with, you know what, the more I think about this guitar, the Les Paul Modern from Epiphone, I really do think that this could be one of the best Les Pauls that Epiphone makes. Ton of high-end features that we'll tell you about, all the specs when we put it on the bench and take it apart, and then we'll let you hear it with all the many various coil splitting options, great features, we'll plug it in and play it, but at the top, if you're in the market for a guitar like the Les Paul Modern or any other gear, please consider using our purchase link. We've teamed up with Zounds to make that really easy. Link is in the description. You can also check out our video on the high-end uh, Gibson Les Paul Modern, which retails for $29.99. Now we're looking at this beautiful sparkling burgundy Epiphone Les Paul Modern for $6.49. Crazy low price considering you're gonna get things like a true ebony fretboard, uh, locking tuners from Grover. You've got this asymmetric neck carve, so you've got a thicker chunk of meat down on the base side. Uh, nice contour and neck carving here for accessing the upper frets. Beautiful finish, clear knobs are a nice touch. We've got coil splits and other features I'll tell you about. But all in all, this is one great package, $649. So why don't we head over to the bench and take it apart so we can talk full specs and take a look under the hood before we plug it in and play it. Beautiful guitar. Looking online, I was surprised to find Epiphone has nearly 100 different production models of just electric guitars. But the ones of late that everyone has been really excited about have been the Inspired by Gibson line. So check this out. We'll start at the top of the headstock and go from top to bottom. Starting with this Inspired by Gibson open book headstock design with this uh, Epiphone Perloid inlay, Les Paul model screened on the top. Flipping it over, you're gonna see, I love how they went with the natural mahogany, uh, gloss finish, polygloss finish, locking Grover tuners, which are a really nice upgrade. Coming down the back of the neck, continuing with the natural look against that sparkling burgundy, you have this neck route for accessibility all the way up into the upper register. And as I hold the guitar, you really notice this asymmetrical carve. And it's kind of like a teardrop or an airplane wing where there's more there's more heft to the neck on the base side. You can really feel it when you're a thumb over and it gets slimmer uh, as you get on the treble side. Overall, the neck can be described as a slim taper asymmetrical, but it kind of combines the both worlds of having a little more chunk in the bass side with that slim experience, especially when you're playing with this easily accessible upper register. So I really do like the neck on these. You've got 22 frets uh, bound fretboard, and this is a real big standout. This is a real ebony fretboard. So at 649, you're getting ebony. You have these acrylic trapezoid inlays, which look sharp. Uh, coming down on the body, get a glimpse again of this sparkling burgundy, one of my favorite finishes that they're doing. And nice little touches like these clear uh, knobs, which I think look fantastic. We're going with Epiphone Pro Bucker 2 and 3, and we'll flip that and take some readings and look under the hood. But as you just get a glance of this, I think cosmetically they knocked it out of the park. And some of these high-end features, including, yes, a maple cap and mahogany body, but a weight-relieved mahogany body. So starting with a weight, one big selling point of these is the modern weight relief, which should take some heft out of it too as you play. And exactly eight pounds on the nose. So pretty light for a Les Paul, eight pounds. Definitely benefiting from that modern weight relief and uh, ironically benefiting much more so than our Gibson counterpart, the Les Paul Modern, that was like nine and a half pounds. So the locking tuners make string changing a breeze. You just loosen the back of the Grover Rotomatic locking tuners, slip out those string ends, Man, that string is no good. It just broke. <laughs> Great. Well, I'll be putting a new set of strings on here then. Getting another glimpse of this ebony board. A lot, of, a lot of ebony appears lighter and streaked nowadays. My guess is that this piece of ebony, they actually stain darker to give it that kind of jet black ebony look. We'll go ahead and get some neck measurements. Nut reading 1.68 inches. First fret reading 0 0.79 inches up to 0 0.89 inches at the 12th. Body thickness, 1.92 inches. Pull off this ABR1 style bridge. This happened to us before on another Epiphone. <laughs> so 
Okay, so as I went to plug in the multimeter, I'm going to show you something that has happened on at least a couple Epiphones that have come through. And that is that the quarter inch input jack doesn't want to work. So that's no good. There is a way to fix that. Usually what's going on when it doesn't want to seat the cable is that this metal clip is bent too far in and it makes it really, um, really difficult to get it to want to sit properly. But that shouldn't happen. That is the one thing about cheaper guitars is that the parts are a lot cheaper. All right, let's try this again. So we have flipping up in neck a Pro Bucker 2 in neck position, short neck tenon on this guitar, and then a uh, Pro Bucker 3 here in bridge. While the pickups are out, we can go ahead and get some pickup readings. We're at 8.3 in bridge, 7.6 in neck. It's got a bad three-way switch too. Three nine combined. And then we have a couple of cool uh, split and phase options I'll explain. So on bridge, when we pull this, we'll have a coil split. And it is a true coil split, not a tap. So you'll see a halving of the value generally here on the multimeter. And I believe that also applies to the neck pickup. Yeah, so we have a coil split as well on the neck pickup using the two volumes. And then what we have when we pull the tones is gonna be a phase flip, which is gonna be a pronounced sound that you'll notice when it's in middle position. It won't have any bearing on the multimeter. And then um, there is no uh, pull on this tone, so don't go rip the knob off. <laughs> Pretty aggressive routing down there, but uh, I guess it does the job. Some import tall pots. You'll notice again the one volume pot is just a normal CTS pot, while the others are the double tall for the push pull features. You see the routing? Yeah, this was someone's <laughs> first day on the job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, flipping the guitar around for some initial reactions. Good ring to the guitar, a noticeable thing, you've got to like the feel of the asymmetrical neck profile. So it's a slim taper, but you definitely feel more heft down in the bass uh, part of the neck than you do on the treble side. Um, not a bad feel, just different and definitely a unique feel. Asymmetrical neck uh, carb definitely has its own thing going on. Now compared to the Gibson, the Gibson also had a compound radius. This guitar does not. This has your traditional 12 inch uh, Gibson radius from bottom to top on the actual fretboard on this beautiful piece of ebony. But guitar has a very nice ring to it. I don't feel any sharp fret edges. Set up from the factory actually feels really good. Um, nice action here. I'm excited to plug it in and play it. Remember, if you're in the market, use our purchase link. It supports our channel directly when you do that, when you buy using our link. Why don't we head over? We'll get some direct in clean tones on this guitar. We'll demo the push-pull features that are available uh, via the volume and tone uh, push-pull knobs. And then we'll crank it up behind a track and let it sing. I'm excited to get to work. Let's head over and plug in.
first look at the Les Paul Modern has been a little bit frustrating. I'll tell you why. Some major construction flaws. First of all, I had a output jack that was bent in such a way that I couldn't plug the guitar cable into it until I unscrewed the jack and bent the prong to just the right position where it should have left the factory from. The other the thing that was really frustrating is I have a bad three-way switch. And you've heard me say before that while I love Epiphone, if I have one big complaint, it's the components, particularly the three-way switch, um, that is a big problem. And if you are gonna buy this guitar, I recommend that you upgrade the three-way switch and the output jack with some switchcraft, some higher quality stuff, because these failed me basically right out of the box, and that's a big problem. It makes, me, it, makes it really hard for me to recommend. Um, even looking internally, you can tell that they put these guitars together fast, and while it looks beautiful, some of those things under the hood, like some deep kind of messy routes, um, some cheaper components that have caused some issues while playing, my main thing with a guitar, I don't care what the guitar costs, I wanna trust that guitar. If I'm gonna take it on stage and play, I don't wanna think for two seconds anywhere in my mind that that three-way switch is gonna fail or that my quarter inch isn't gonna fit uh, you know, in the output jack. It's a big problem. So it makes it hard to endorse based on the construction. Now it's, guitar to, it's on a guitar to guitar basis. This one, uh, I'm not happy with the construction. That said, I think it looks great. I think the features that they've incorporated at a $649 price point um, feel fantastic. Um, comparing this one to the Gibson, of course the Gibson is gonna have the highest components that they build the entire guitar with, so you're not gonna have to worry, you know, is my three-way switch gonna go out or are, are the electronics junk, basically. Um, so it's something that, obviously you're saving a lot of money. Make sure you get one where all the components work uh, if not, the good thing about buying from an authorized dealer is you send that guitar back and you get a new one, right? So, kind of a mixed bag. I started the video saying that this could be one of the best Les Pauls that Epiphone makes, and I do believe that based on features, if it's executed correctly from the factory, that is true. It's a bummer when you get one that just isn't quite up to snuff when it comes to the construction. And for that, it makes it hard to endorse it entirely. A uh, great set of features, um, but what I do really uh -huh. like is the feel of the neck. I really do like the, the, the neck is easy to get around on. It's slim, it's got that asymmetric kind of bump going for you on the, on the base bout. I love Ebony always. Ebony is just such a smooth playing experience, so I definitely give it high marks in that regard. I like the, the locking tuners. But it's a mixed bag. I really can't recommend this one in particular just based on the construction flaws and it makes me kind of worry that they're moving too quickly when they build these. That said, it's hard to beat at this price point and at the worst that it is is a three-way switch or an output jack that needs to get replaced or if you need to send it back and get a new one, get a better one from the production line and this thing will be ready to roll. I think it sounds pretty good. Uh, drop a comment below, let us know what you think of the Epiphone Les Paul Modern, and check out our Gibson Les Paul Modern. Uh, big price difference there. But let us know what you think of this guitar in the comments, and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks so much for watching. I'm John, that's Zach, and this has been Playing Trade Guitars. <laughs>